The other day I was watching some Nostalgia Critic reviews, and one of the reviews I watched was his review of um, the Thomas the Tank Engine movie. And after I watched that review, one of my favorite review, reviews by him, by the way, uh, when I was done watching that review, I was reading a whole bunch of comments, and I came across this one comment that said something along these lines. I wish I could have screen tapped the comment, but I couldn't find it when I went back to find it. But anyways, the comment said something along these lines. I caught my little girl watching this on my phone. Stop cursing so much. Little kids might be watching this. So, I'm going to assume that the girl is under 10 years old because, well, why the... If the girl's like my age or, uh, or older, why the hell would she be using her dad's phone to watch YouTube? And also, I guess she was watching a bunch of Thomas the Tank Engine videos because I don't know how else she would have ended up on a Nostalgia Critic video. Especially that one review in particular. So anyways... That doesn't matter. My main point is, you gave your little girl your phone to, I guess, watch YouTube videos for a little bit, and you weren't, and you weren't even watching her. Like she was just using your phone and just putting on any video she like, uh, she was interested in on YouTube. And well, she ended up on the video because I guess she saw Thomas the Tank Engine movie and she didn't see the first part of the title that said Nostalgia Critic, but I, she wouldn't. Uh, I'm sure she wouldn't have known anyway. But, um, yeah, you gave her your phone, and she put on a video that you didn't like, so why weren't you there the whole time to see what she was watching? Monitor everything she's doing on the phone, because chances are she might bump into a video that has a ton of cursing in it. And also, I like how you try to blame the uploader, the creator of the video, for cursing when um, you weren't the one watching your kid, and they stum happened to stumble upon a video that had a lot of mean, mean, nasty words. Ugh. Why weren't you there to watch your kid? Why put the blame on the uploader, the, con the, the, the person who made the video, instead of you taking responsibility? Because it's not their fault that your kid clicked on, uh, clicked on their video and wanted to see it, and it happened to be a, a video with a whole bunch of uh, curse words. It's not their fault. You should be the one monitoring your kid, seeing what they're watching on YouTube, and see if, you, uh, see if it's appropriate or not. And if it's not appropriate then don't let them watch it. I hate these kind of parents who try to put the blame on other people for their own mistakes. That's when you know they're a failure as a parent, when they blame other people for their own doings, and they try to just put, uh, just try to take all the blame off them and try to put it on someone else. That's when you know they are a bad parent. Own up to your own mistakes. Plus, YouTube has an age limit. They, they think that people under the age of 13 aren't suitable enough to be watching the, the uh, videos on YouTube. And, well, I can see why, because 90% of YouTube, uh, you, uh, videos on YouTube have vulgar words and, you know, uh, aren't really appropriate for kids who, who um, are much younger than 13. And that's why YouTube created this app called YouTube Kids, where kids who are like around your daughter's age can watch YouTube without without the parents having to worry about a kid stumbling upon a video with a, with a whole bunch of uh, curse words and inappropriate stuff in it for kids and stuff like that. The parents wouldn't have to worry about that, and their kids to watch YouTube all day long, even without supervision, because the parent will know that they won't stumble upon videos like that. And there! Problem solved! So instead of blaming the creator of the video for cursing and everything, you should be, you should be responsible and get that app for your kids so they won't run into videos like that. And <clears throat> you're not going to stop the creator from doing whatever they want on their videos because it's their videos. Who are you to say that they should change up their formula for kids? Certain stuff isn't aimed towards kids. So don't, uh, so don't let your kids watch it. And yeah, problem solved there. Don't let your kids watch it. It's instead of trying to have the creator dumb down their content for your appeasement. And also, I'm sure you like some adult, uh, some shows that are aimed towards adults and not for children, and you would never let your, let your kids see, and I'm sure you'd be pissed off if that show was dumbed down to just, uh, to just appeal for kids and families and everyone. <laughs> I'm sure you'd be very pissed off if, if the world actually heeded to that idiotic uh, mindset. And don't try to deny it, because you would be. Trust me, you would be. Anyway, it's all I have to say. Bye-bye.